Hey, um, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Power Query. So, what is Power Query? Power Query is Power Query is the kitchen of Power BI, but this is not Power BI, right? This is Excel. Basically, what we do in Power Query is that we perform our data cleansing before we then import the data directly to Excel. But then we can also perform the data cleansing also in excel but power query is just a go-to before you apply your data transformation to your data so let me let me walk you through how this works to access power query i'm just going to click on data right here and then i'm going to go to get data you can see get data and then power query so i'm just going to click on the drop down and this is get data power query but for you on windows it could be a slight difference you might see get data separately power query or combine data separately so when i click on this i can then browse and select the kind of data i want to upload so i have excel workbook text csv xml json black blank query blank data old data old sharepoint online list so i'm just going to click on this text csv so when you click on browse i can you can see i have four data sets right here 2012 2013 2014 2016 so i'm just going to click on here i'll pick the first one then i click on get data then this brings me here and then i click on next now here i can see a preview of what my data looks like this is a crime data set of uh, crimes occurring in the uk so right now um, this is what the preview looks like the data is really a large one so the data would at a point be truncated you can see the data in the preview may have been truncated due to size limit so this data has actually been truncated so if I cancel this window closes if I click on transform data, this transform data allows then takes me to power query where I can perform my data cleansing. If I click on load, it takes me back to Excel and then it loads the data directly there. So I'm going to click on transform data. So this is what data power query looks like. At the top here, you have different tabs you could use to manipulate your data at this side this is where you see the, the steps that you've applied or the ones that excel has applied for you so the first thing was to connect to a data source the second was that when the file was loaded it was just in its raw form so the first thing excel did was to promote the first row to header if, you, if i click on here you see promote header because by default the file is in comma separated value and there are no headers attributed but this is what was applied to it and then the last one the next one says changed um changed column so this is where you find the history of the steps that you've applied and of course you can always delete one of those so if i delete that promote header you see are you sure you want to delete this step deleting this step may affect subsequent steps which can cause your query to break so if i delete this now which means that my query my data will now be in can you see it looks like my data is now messed up with so i'm just going to we do this again do you want to keep the changes no So 
so now what this means is this part I've, I've said before is where you skip tab of the changes that you've applied so what do we have exactly in the data set so this first column here is financial year this one is financial quarter this one here is um, first name first description offense group offense subgroup offense code number of offenses so one of the things i might want to do is to understand the data quality and know if i have missing values you know stuff like that but looking at this financial year i can see that this is separated by a delimiter which is a forward sign a uh, forward slash you can see 2012 stroke 2013. what i want i might want to do here is to split this so that this now becomes 2012 why because there's no in financial year there's no 2012 2013 in real sense and that's because when you combine 2012 with this this financial year with this financial quarter you discover that this 2012 quarter one means the month the first quarter of the year which is january february march april so you have four of those so that's how this data is being broken down into so 2013 in real essence doesn't actually do anything here but what i can do is that i can right click and i can click on the entire column right here and then i can right click so when i right click these are the options i can apply to this particular column i can pivot it i can unpivot i can uh, unpivot columns i can fill i can transform the column i can change the data type so one of the things that you have to clean at the back of your mind when you are cleaning your data is to ensure that all data all the columns are in the right correct um they are in the, in the correct data types so what i want to do is that i want to split column by delimiter so which means i want to separate 2012 from 2013 by this delimiter because this forward slash is the only thing that is keeping them together so i can also apply some other methods here number of characters by position by lower case to upper case and a couple of other things so i'm just going to click on this delimiter so by default this is what comes in is my data separated by comma no it's actually separated by something else so but then from the options i have here forward slash does not it's not it's not here so i'm just going to click on custom and then i'm going to put my forward slash here and then okay so you now see that the data has now the column has now been split into 2012 and 2013 and you can see dot one dot two so you can decide to join this back again you know using merge right so now i can change this now i can check the data type and say this is year right i can say this is date but this is not a complete date so i'm just going to leave this as it is and another thing i could do here is to understand if i have missing values in my data now if i want to check if i have missing value i'm just going to go to view okay. So, sorry, the data type first. So, to change the data type, I'm just going to come here and check. You can see automatically some of this has been assigned the correct value. You can see whole number here. And when I click on here, and I click on here, and I keep, keep clicking each of these columns, I can see for sure what the data types are. So, if I click this is text, even though it's a combination of numbers, and this is also a whole number there is no option to check the empty values that you have here but if you were working with power bi you would be able to look that up because there's is um there's an option where you can check your data the distribution of your data set but you don't have it in the excel features so i'm just going to go back to home so after you've already applied all of your data cleansing 
you want to load this or you still want to add more data you can go to get data a text or csv file browse click on here get data and then next now you can see now that the values have not you can see now that the changes here was not effective here so if i wanted to combine these two together i'm just going to say combine or pen right so i want to append these two queries on what i'm just going to say append this and this will automatically add the first record to the second record but then you won't see that because this is truncated this particular data set is truncated so you will not be able to see in real time how this value is being uh, appended i'm just going to get rid of this part so if i want to apply the same method i could just apply the same method on the same data set so i i'm, I'm on this I'm, I'm on the same page so i'm just going to split this just right click then and then by delimiter and then from delimiter i come to custom sorry not tab i come to custom and then i use a forward slash here and then okay so that being said if i go here and look at what i have here i have load and close and load if i click on here now my data automatically gets loaded so i have two sheets right here so the query running background query so this is still coming up so let's just wait a couple of seconds So this is the first data set and if I click on to the other one so running background query so this is still ongoing and if you look at the sum of rows that I have, you see I have 353,508 rows there. So you can imagine how, it's, uh, how much of computing power that is taken. So let's, let's see. So this is also showing that the data is um, in, a, in a table format. So you can then go ahead and proceed with the data analytics or whatever uh, method or next thing you want to apply to this data set.